Welcome to Inside the Islanders. I'm George Matthews, and guesting with us in this segment is Island native and number 21 of the Charlottetown Islanders, Craig McLaughlin. And Craig, that's where we're going to start with this interview, uh, where in fact you, you grow up here on Prince Edward Island. You have a, a real good, strong minor hockey career, but then to finish up playing Major Junior with your home province and your home city is pretty special. Yeah, no, it's an amazing experience, you know, uh, just playing in your hometown, it's so nice, you know, seeing familiar faces around the rink and stuff like that, you know, it's just amazing. Now, of course, when you look at your major junior career, we'll, we'll look back, we'll skate through your junior career here. Uh, you're a, a draft pick of the Montreal Juniors, eighth round, 2011. From that point of the draft, again, take us through your junior career here. Uh, I guess after the draft there, I worked hard all summer, went to camp in what changed to over the summer, Blainville, and now I guess the Armada. Armada. Um, when I went there, I was like, probably one of the only English guys there you know I felt I was young I felt really out of place I didn't have a great camp and they sent me home probably a week or two into camp and I kind of was down the slums from that but went to Summerside's camp the following it must have been the week after I guess I uh, had a strong camp there ended up making the team a 17 year old and that was easily one of the best years of my life you know I had a great captain Steve Brazel from Newfoundland uh, you know he was an unreal captain he's a great guy took me under his wing a bit you know we had a lot of fun that year um, after that after that season, um, went to Halifax's camp, uh, had a decent camp, you know, McKinnon and all them guys were there, they had a really good team, they went on to win the Memorial Cup, so, you know, I didn't really have the biggest shot at making that team, but uh, it was a good experience as well. Um, after camp, went back to Summerside, we were hosting the RBC that year, um, just an amazing year again, you know, a lot of fun, Billy McWiggan was our coach for the second year in a row, he was an unreal coach, I loved him, you know, he taught me a lot about the game and the defensive side of the puck. Um, and that's kind of the role I've taken on from there with this team in Charlottetown. Now, when you talk about playing in Summerside and playing the Maritime Junior Hockey League, getting to the national final like you did last year in the Royal Bank Cup, uh, that's a, a pretty special situation, pretty tough to duplicate. Oh, yeah, it was, it was a long run. You know, it was the longest hockey season of my life. Um, coming on the end, you're getting pretty battered and bruised, but it was, it was an amazing experience, yeah. Now, what about a couple of years in the Maritime Junior Hockey League? This year, of course, now you're playing Major Junior. I know in the NHL, they talk about the American Hockey League and the NHL, uh, the NHL being a step quicker and, of course, then a second quicker thinking-wise. What are some of the differences between playing in Major Junior and Junior A? Uh, I found a big difference was the skill level from guy to guy and stuff like that. Like from the first line to the fourth line here, um, there's a lot of difference in um, skill and stuff like that. Whereas in Junior A, a lot of the guys are the same players, same type of players. They, uh, you know, everyone's counting on for offense kind of in Junior A, and I find that was kind of the biggest difference. Now, of course, with that difference and uh, playing in the Royal Bank Cup and having the success that your team and you individually had last year, now you come to the Islanders camp this year and you go from a guy that uh, is a go-to guy with the, uh, the uh, Summerside Western Capitals to a guy that has to be almost, again, show me what, uh, what you're all about with this organization. That's a bit of an adjustment. Yeah, it was for sure. You know, like I, I knew Gordy and them talked to me when I, made, when, I end up, when I first made the team that uh, my role might not be as big as what you want your role to be, you know what I mean? But I accepted that. I knew what was going to happen. And uh, as a year rolled on, I guess things got a little better and now everything's rolling pretty good. Now, of course, with the trading deadline having uh, come and gone, all of a sudden, uh, as we see the, the last third of the season here, you've got a letter uh, on your jersey, and that, uh, that's going to give you a huge, bu a rather huge boost of confidence here. Yeah, no, it was a huge boost of confidence. You know, I talked with the coaches, Gordy and them, about it. Um, they just, they seen, we had a young team, you know, um, and I guess they wanted me on a personal level to get, like, take a couple guys under my wing. Just being from around here, I guess, you know, like, I kind of had a voice in the room just from being our front PEI and stuff like that. So, you know, I guess that's really what they kind of thought. And getting more ice time and stuff now, you know, is great too. When you look at that letter of we as well, of course, uh, having talked to the head coach, Cordy DeWire, what are his expectations as far as on the ice and that responsibility that comes with that letter? Oh, you know, you get more ice time. Um, I know I play a defensive role. I mean, I really want to, I really want to be like, take my role like seriously, you know, I want to, I want to do good at my role. Um, you know, just play as well as I can every night and, you know, try to get the boys fired up here and there. What about this Islanders organization right now? It's, we've talked about this uh, since the start of the year. Great start. Not so much right now. A bit of a struggle as this season is winding down. And we'll talk about that with, a, with another question here. But you being from the area, uh, your, your, your feelings for the organization here in the city, uh, what are some of the positive things you're hearing about the Charlottetown Islanders? Oh, I think it's just great. Like the, even the name, the Islanders, you know, it just makes everyone feel like they're a part of the team. Just like being the Islanders and everyone around the community is an Islander as well. You know what I mean? So I guess that's kind of the biggest thing. Everyone feels like they're a part of the team. 
and of course for the organization it's just not what happens inside the arena here at the Eastlink Center but as an organization the Charlottetown Islanders very busy outside of the arena as well yeah we're, we're involved in a lot of stuff outside of the community uh, after this interview I'm heading up to Surrey to take on a practice so that should be a bit of fun you know the boys have fun with the stuff around the community you got to so like it's, it's great now, of course, when you look to this coming weekend, uh, we talk about uh, the playoffs. We've talked about that since the start of the season. Uh, you're, you look at the standings, you're starting to slide here, and the, and the playoffs are certainly not guaranteed. But uh, a big weekend here at the East Link Center, you've got three games and three nights. It looks like everybody that's playing this weekend is three and three, so there's no disadvantage at home here in games two and three of the weekend who you're playing. But uh, Blainville, number two in the queue, then Ramuski, number eight. A couple of tough challenges here moving forward. Yeah, I know they're both really good teams, and uh, we played them both in their ranks. We gave them a good push, so I mean, imagine here in our rank, we're giving a good push again. They're going to be two really good games. Now, when you look at your own careers, we just end up this interview here, uh, you look at your own career, uh, you're playing a defensive style of hockey uh, for the Charlottetown Islanders. You do have a season of eligibility left uh, in Major Junior, but looking forward for Craig McLaughlin, what does he want to do with his junior career? Or not, in fact, junior career, but his hockey career? Uh, well, you know, I, it'd be great to play again here next year, but I know that's a tough thing. He plays a 20-year-old. There's only three on every team, so that's a tough thing to do. Um, if I don't play here, I'd like to play in Summerside again where I played my previous two years um, and after junior I'm looking to play university hockey. That's Charlottetown Islanders Craig McLaughlin for Inside the Islanders. I'm George Matthews.